Hello, hello, and welcome back. Uh, today we're in Stansted, and our destination is Vienna, flying with louder air. On top of that, um, I'm going to show you my personal settings and applications that I use uh, for the best performance whilst flying X-Plane 11. I often use VR, and, um, and throughout the years, um, I've been trying to maintain flying with VR no lower than 32 frames whilst having a, a very high setting rate on um, that uh, that X-Plane 11 has to offer and um, and I'm able to achieve that uh, admittedly I have got a high-end graphics card uh, but nevertheless um, the applications and the settings that I use uh, certainly help for a stable VR experience Okay, uh, we're in the flight deck, and as I mentioned before, um, we're flying to Vienna, flying with louder air. And um, what we'll do, I'll um, get ourselves um, get this uh, aircraft up and running, and get the APU up and running, and um, and I'll take you through um, my settings um, to try to maximise uh, the frame rates as I possibly can. Um, I, I'm not going to be using VR during this flight, but I will show you an introduction uh, whilst having VR, and uh, then I'll show you the frame rates that uh, that is achieved uh, with the help of my applications and settings. I shouldn't be surprised every time I decide to fly out or fly in to England um, the weather seems to be against me <laughs> the weather is atrocious um, it's um, it's raining quite heavily out there um, off and on um, I suppose you can call them showers but um, I um, I use a real weather so um, I'm not going to uh, customize the weather I, I use the weather that um, that's active at the time I decide to fly wherever I'm flying around the world so um, we have to put up with the English weather, unfortunately, and hopefully when we get into uh, Europe, um, flying towards Vienna, uh, the weather may change. Um, okay, um, let's try to talk to you through these, uh, these settings. The first thing I use before I even start the X-Plane, um, I put on my booster driver 9.2. I check for uh, updates for uh, the current drivers that uh, may or may be available. Then I put on Game Boost, uh, which is a feature that's uh, within the program. And um, you can configure and um, search for the programs that, uh, that could be working in the background. And, um, and it will basically search for those and, um, and, yeah, and, and turn them off. And um, so it, um, it's, it saves on the... Uh, the, the, the virtual RAM I guess and um, so the less background um, apps that you have running in the background uh, this is the uh, program I use to um, to get rid of all of that there you go and you can see how much uh, uh, space has been uh, been saved there <coughs> and just quickly I'll just uh, show you the settings that I use um, as you can see um, they're quite high uh, there's a few things there that um, I don't use, but um, the majority of these settings is on, is, is on a quite high scale. Um, I do recommend to use Vulcan. Um, I know that, that a lot of applications were, were falling behind to catch up with the new update, but um, most of them have now. There's only very few that, that, uh, that you can't use, but um, they're all up to speed. And... Um, and it works so much better you get the, the, a better frame rate if you uh, if you go to Vulcan um, and um, also there's um, lasso um, I actually swear by this this is a, this is a must uh, for um, to try to uh, get more frame rates out of um, I suppose any program really um, it um, I won't go into the detail. All I can recommend is uh, is go to um, YouTube 
there's some really good um, YouTube channels that um, that can give you um, a lot of information on how lasso works. Um, I've I know how it works, but I mean honestly, it, it can take um, up to 10 to 15 minutes um, to take you through the whole process of what lasso has got to offer to improve um, your uh, your system, so um, you can achieve the a faster frame rate. It's uh, it's an amazing tool. Um, and um, yeah, <laughs> I, I swear by it because it um, it does make a big difference. Um, I have the uh, the payware, but um, from my understanding, that um, even the freeware, um, you can achieve some uh, some great results. And so uh, Lasso um, is uh, is a must. Okay, um, we're in VR. I just want to show you a short uh, demonstration of the flight in VR and. Um, and look at the uh, the frame rates. Um, it's averaging around about the low 30s. Um, it does get up to cranks up to about 35, but generally around about 32, 33. And um, yeah, it's um, it doesn't give it any justice to be honest to um, to look at VR on a 2D screen. Um, but um, I thoroughly recommend um, for anyone that's interested in flight sims. Um, to um, to invest in a, in a VR um, headset because the immersion is amazing. It really is amazing. Um, it's it's yeah, <laughs> it's, um, it's it's beyond uh, words to be honest. Because I I absolutely uh, love flying in VR. I decided to make a small demo um, taking off from one way four, and um, yeah, um, a bit more of a longer demo. So I mean, it doesn't give it any justice. I try to keep my head still as possible so it doesn't give that show that jerkiness that VR um, gives you when you're recorded VR. Um, but um, nevertheless, I thought I'd give it a little bit of a demo and then we can go back to the pre flight um, destined to Vienna. Okay, um, 
Let's look at the weather. Okay, that um, there's that band, uh, that green band there, sitting right on top of us. Um, and it's just sitting there. It's not moving, or if it is, it's moving very slowly. Um, but um, as you can see, um, looks like the weather is going to be pretty good um, as we head into Europe, um, head towards Vienna. Okay, let's get some fuel in the aircraft. Just look at our dispatch that we received from Simbrief. Just looking at the block fuel and taxi. Craft flight deck is disconnected and starting refueling. Okay, let's head back to the FMC. Uh, okay, our departure, um, departing from uh, 04. Let's get our um, dispatch back. Let's have a look at the uh, SIDS. Let's just bring that down. Open it up. There we go, that's better. So um, zero 04, and there's our SID there, let's just plot the SID in. Execute that. And our arrivals. Arriving at um, runway 34. Um, I plot in uh, 15 miles out from from the from the approach to uh, runway 34, and then I um, I go manual and um, to get our stars. There you go. I'd much rather go manual um, um, than, than having it auto or guided in from the um, from the Pepe. I like to go manual. It's um, it's more enjoyable to fly manually. Okay, just uh, just checking these discos. Um, we we cancel these discos out so that the. Uh, the arrival and the um, so the departure and the arrival uh, meet up on the um, on the route. So we basically, I guess, we're knitting we're knitting them we're knitting them together. So there's no um, <coughs> there's no confusion. Just go to plan. And then we can uh, go to our um, uh, go to, uh, path on the FMC and um, uh, make sure that everything's correct and everything links up properly to our destination to, to Vienna. Just going through that now. It goes 15 miles out and down into uh, runway 34. Okay, that's the plot in the route um, all done. Let's get the flight directors on. Take it off plan to the map. Check our ground level. Actually, I better check that uh, from the uh, from the airport information. To see what the uh, see what altitude the ground level is. Go to our iPad, and then we can plot into the uh, the airport information, and it will give us the uh, the correct ground level. 
<laughs> so you go to airport, uh, plot in the uh, Stansted. <clears throat> and they give us, there you go, at, uh, all the information there is at 348 feet. <clears throat> so it's close, not quite, uh, but uh, it was close, but it's best to get the, uh, the right information there. It's a bit tricky, <laughs> but it does, um, it does, it does sink in eventually. There you go, it's synced in there. Cool. Right, what's next? Brakes. Put them on RTO. And um, let's go to our safety uh, procedure. Fire procedure. on just having a general go through and see what uh, see what I've missed out which uh, I normally do miss something out but um, uh, not too bad so far let's get some internal lights there up and running get the uh, probe heat on Very good. Right, um, passengers. Let's get some passengers and cargo. Um, get them sorted out. I've noticed um, I'm going to be doing more audio, visual, and my, my I'll be talking through um, most of the flight now, uh, considering. I'm only two behind uh, 300 subscribers, and um, I, I think I, I think I gained about five subscribers since I, met, I actually recognised uh, the subscribe the, the subscribers um, in my last um, flight. So um, it's given me more encouragement, I guess, to um, be more get more um, attention to detail um, with my flights, and so. Um, I'll be more proactive the best I possibly can. Um, okay, the performance and takeoff. <clears throat> I actually, I actually do enjoy this side of the uh, of the flight sim. It, um, <clears throat> it's time consuming, and um, but nevertheless, it, when everything's done, when you can, when you try to do everything properly, um, it all, it all. It all fits, and it's 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 worthwhile. It really is. It's worth the effort to try to put as much um, into the flight sim as you possibly can. And um, and and as you and well, me personally, as I, as I'm progressing with my study uh, with this flight sim, um, it just it just piles on, and it just gets better and better and better as. Um, as you get through, as, well, basically as you um, improve on the uh, on the flight sim itself. So I guess in a way, my confidence is um, is a lot higher. It, it does; it gets a lot higher. Then you can go forward. I'm not saying it's not a lot of things I'm doing are a little bit unorthodox to say the least. Um, but um, for the time being, until I can uh, smoothen things out with uh, with the procedures. This is what we have at the moment, and I hope that uh, I hope it's uh, looking okay. I 
Okay, um, pushback. Let's get the pushback um, request. We're all ready for the request. Ground to flight deck. I can now see where you want to go. Just call me through the menu when you're ready. Let's open the side door, entry door, gate door. Side entry door open. Get some service crew. And a bit of a hoover and clean up for the next flight passengers. Uh, this is taking longer than I expected. Um, so this is the end of part one. And I'll see you back at part two.